they're scared because everybody says how dangerous they are. Oh my goodness, motorcycles are so dangerous. It's BS, man. It's times like these I wish I had my WI 250i dual sport. So I can go ride out here in the woods and have a good old time out here. But anyways, there's a lot of myths out there regarding motorcycles. And it really pains me to hear it because a lot of the people out there that are scared of motorcycles, they like to recite these myths. And it really irritates me. So you know what? In this video, I'm going to tell you about five of these popular myths out there. And I'm going to bust them in this video. Stay tuned. Let's go for a ride. Watching Cycle Cruises all on one motorcycle channel. Subscribe today. Yeah, sounding proper too. Love that Akrapovich exhaust on this bike, man. But you know what? The number one myth that I always hear from people that try to tell you not to get a motorcycle is that motorcycles are dangerous. That is the worst myth out there, man. That's the number one myth that every... Oh, they're dangerous. Don't get a motorcycle. You'll get killed. Or you'll get hurt really bad. Don't get a motorcycle. And this myth right here scares off most of the people out there. <laughs> but I tell you, there's a lot of people out there that love to see us riding these things. They admire them. They wish they could ride one, but they're scared because everybody says how dangerous they are. Oh my goodness, motorcycles are so dangerous. It's BS, man. It's not the motorcycles that are dangerous. It's the riders. <laughs> it's us riders that make them dangerous. You know, if you follow the rules out here on the street, if you do the speed limit, which I don't do a lot of times, <laughs> <laughs> if you wear the full gear, I have links to all of my gear like this. I love this helmet. My favorite helmet, ultra lightweight, comes with the auto tint shield, carbon fiber. I have a link to it in the description and comment section of this video along with my other gear. Especially the airbag vest. I don't know why everybody doesn't wear airbag vests. If you ride defensively, you treat each and every one of these cars as though they're going to get you and be ready. That's what saves my butt many times. That's how you have to ride out here. But if you, you know how to ride, you have the skills of riding out here on the streets. And you follow some simple rules like not riding at night, not riding in the rain, um, not trying to be a street Rossi going around corners emulating Valentino Rossi and Mark Marquez trying to get knee slide action. If you're not a highway bandito doing 150 plus miles an hour racing each other on the highway. I mean, these are the people that are getting killed and maimed out there, guys. This is why motorcycles are deemed dangerous because of these people most of the time. That's why. It's not the bikes. Okay? That's, you know what I'm saying? That's like knives. Knives are not dangerous unless it's the person that has a knife and what they do with it. You know what I'm saying? Their intentions, everything. Same with motorcycles. It's what your intentions are when you get on this bike. So many people uh, get on these bikes and they want to race or do crazy tricks and stuff like that. You know, like I said, I'm guilty of busting wheelies. I'm guilty of doing some speeding here and there. But I tell you, God forbid something happened. I'm not going to say motorcycles are dangerous. I blame myself. I say I was a fool. I shouldn't have did that speeding. But so stop saying that the bikes are dangerous. That, that's, that's a myth. <laughs> Number two myth is that if you get a motorcycle, you're going to be seen as a D-bag, low class, a loser, or a scrub, or, or the uh, grimy biker, or all the negative connotations that come with being a motorcycle rider like the people. Because people, when they think motorcycle rider or biker, they're thinking these Harley riders like in, in the gangs with the beards and and the tattoos and stuff and not wearing gear that's how people see bikers as that that's what they think when they hear a biker they don't think you know people riding dual sports or these standard bikes or uh, you know people that ride all, all there's all different other types of motorcycles but pe that's the first thing that comes to mind is these harley riders these grind and and most of them believe it or not a lot of these harley riders are actually 
yuppies. These are corporate people riding these bikes, like doctors, lawyers. Uh, that's a lot of. There's a, a, a there's an attorney on TV that's a biker. He's got the biker vest and everything, and he always talks about fighting for bikers. So get that myth out of here, man. That, and if you care about the way people perceive you, then you should be riding a motorcycle anyhow because you're weak. We don't need weak people out here on the street. We need mentally strong people. You know what I'm saying? So stay at home. Don't ride the motorcycle because you, you will make them dangerous because you're too weak. But anyways, number three myth is that motorcycles are expensive to own. I don't know where people get this from. I guess because of the Harley Davidsons have high maintenance costs. The parts are expensive. They break down more often. Uh, but if you get a Japanese bike like I did with this MTL9 or the Honda, Honda motorcycles that I've owned or any of the Japanese motorcycles, guys, as long as you maintain the bike doing oil change every 3,000 miles, that bike is going to be riding. You ain't going to have no problems, and you can do the maintenance yourself. You don't have to take it to the dealership to do maintenance on them, man. I'm saying it's very easy to work on bikes, and I have a whole uh, maintenance playlist, by the way. So I want to hear that anymore, man. That's BS. <laughs> it's not. It's only expensive to own if you get a Ducati, you get an Aprilia, you get one of the European bike BMW and stuff like your Harley Davidson's Accord. Like I said, another myth that that is crap out there is they say that you often hear that cars don't car drivers don't see motorcycle riders like we're invisible out here. That's really kind of a myth. If kind of has a little bit of truth to it but a lot of times it's because riders want to look macho and wear all black from head to toe and ride a black bike like I got <laughs> and they ride at night so it, it re re completely reduces their their visibility out here and you look like a big blind spot <laughs> they can't see you then because you made yourself invisible now you should treat yourself, you should be riding as though you're invisible and seeing every car as though they're going to get you. Like I said, that's defensive riding. Definitely want to do that, it's going to help save you, but oftentimes if you wear a high vis like I'm wearing that has reflective reflection on here, it's high vis, because high vis color, it actually irritates the human eye. So that is actually going to help you Stay safe. I actually had a driver one time that pulled up next to me and he said that was smart thinking for me wearing high vis. He he saw it because I stood out like a sore thumb with that high vis rain jacket I had on. I don't care. Stop trying to look cool out here because nobody cares how you look, guys. These people out here don't care. They may glance at you, but they ain't paying attention to you, man. These Most of these people, they don't even like motorcycles or motorcycle riders. Like, they, they believe that myth that us bikers out here are you know? Number five myth is that, uh, you know, cars are the reason for the motorcycle crashes out here. They're always at fault. That's another BS myth out there, man. It's like, yes, these cars are dangerous, and you always got to treat them as though they're going to come at you at any time. I'm looking at him. He's looking at I'm making sure he sees me so he doesn't pull out. Um, you have to ride that way, but... It's not the cars. A lot of time, like I said, guys, it is the biker. Most of these, a lot of these crashes I hear is because of the biker. It's not the cars, man. Because people are speeding, they lose control, end up in the back of a car. Um, or, like I said, they're, they lose control on the highway, they get hurt. Or, because uh, they're trying to do, you know, be a highway bandito or they're doing street Rossi action out here, low side into a tree or something. That's what happens a lot of times out here, guys. You know, yes, there's going to be some cars that pull out in front of you and that has hurt people. So don't be scared to ride a motorcycle, guys. And don't listen to these myths out here. Get out here and try it for yourself. Go to the MSF class. They'll have different types of bikes for you to ride. You can try one and see what's the best type of bike for you. They're all great, guys. I love all the different type of motorcycles. I've had a lot of different types of bikes. And they will teach you how to ride. You get your motorcycle endorsement. Get your uh, get your motorcycle gear first, guys. But I wish you guys all the best out there. Um, I do have a how to ride a motorcycle video series. I'll include that video link in the description and comment section of the video. So go check that out. But anyways, 
Don't forget to subscribe to my all of a motorcycle channel and check out my other channel, Bug Out Moto. Deuces. Thumbs up. Check out my playlist for new riders and popular videos. Don't forget to comment and subscribe and check out my other channel, Bug Out Moto, where I customize a van for my motorcycle so I can live in my van with my motorcycle and travel across the country anywhere. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Bug Out Moto.